when the Clash Shop came out, I assumed I'd just be buying Yesco blueprints and epics as I gained currency. And the shop runs like the normal shop. It's got a timer on it, so it refills every X number of days. I don't know how many days it is exactly, but you can see there's nearly five days five days until it refreshes, so it doesn't refresh very often. The, the normal shop refreshes every, three times a day. And we've had Clash Currency now for how long? Over 28 days. And my club's doing okay. And I've got about 2,750 Clash credits and 1,000 Clash tokens. And when Clash... How do I go to Clash? When Clash finishes... So if we win the next one, we'll get another 375 tokens and 1,000 coins and if we lose we'll get 250 tokens and 750 coins that feels like more oh would we have one more mike i thought my club was seven five six million and now it's because it's saying seven three six but actually if you go to my club page seven five seven million we should be getting the higher rewards on Clash, but somehow it's saying that we're getting a lower one. Maybe it was our starting point at the beginning of this club season. So we actually got fewer coins and tokens than we could have. And that's quite a considerable difference to 500 to 375, 1500 to 1000 for each round. And then at the end, I think at the moment we're top 10%, but at the end you get if we stay in top 10 or get to top five, you see there's not much difference between top 10 and top five on those numbers, but there is a massive difference between top 25 and top 10. So it's double and then it's just a, and then it's just a small fraction up. But anyway, there'll be seven and a half thousand things and two and a half. So basically the point I'm getting to very slowly is that in the shop, I should be spending them already because I want to buy one blueprint at a time and then the shop refresh. And I will just buy Yesco blueprints after I've done one thing because my VW electric car just needs one blueprint to star it up. So that feels like a, a, an efficient and a, a decent use of money. And I'll use 260 Clash coins. And I'm I'm going to leave it for later, but now I know I've, that's at four star. And you see the price goes up. So it was two sixty. Now it's three two five for the Yesco. Sorry, now I'm sorry. Where's the class shop? Back in shop. I scroll all the way down, and I know I can press on the left. So now I go to the Yesco. I'm not going to buy F forty epics. My F forty is five star. And Epic's car come in car hunts for the F40. My Apollo's gold, my Porsche's gold. I'm not going to take my VW electric car to five stars until I've bought more Yesco blueprints. So now I'm just going to buy one Yesco blueprint. I'm only buying one because I think the rate that this clock the, the rate that this I think I should have been buying them earlier but I think the rate that this updates and the rate at which we're earning currency means at the moment I should just buy one blueprint at a time for the ESCO and then wait for the store to refresh because I don't think I'll overspend as such and if I do stack up currency I'm going to save the tokens for the epics I'm going to save the clash tokens for these epics and just spend the credits on one blueprint every time the the shop refreshes that's my my clash currency strategy at the moment good luck guys i'm madder than you